Okay, got a few little goodies that we've been doing today. Put the took the uh, Kelly controller off. Put my Curtis clone back on. Um, as you know, I reported that the Curtis clone got scorching hot, the way I had it hooked up before. The problem. A couple people actually. Uh, made mention that maybe my field is hooked up wrong and you know what it was so this this one right here flip this over here a little bit so this cable right here is my field cable and I had this hooked up over here and it was wrong, causing uh, what what they were saying is a feedback, uh, basically plug breaking feedback. So I put it where it's actually supposed to be, and uh, just hooked everything up just like I'm supposed to. Um, the long one is, show, is, is for the battery shut. We've got that hooked up, and below I have the amp gauge, We've got the controller, and we're going to kind of zoom in a little little bit here that I can do. Can't do a whole lot of... Okay, so I'm back after uh, recharging that battery. Um, actually, just put a new battery in, because I have a whole bunch of them. Um, there's the the motor and its terminals. So this is the motor negative, uh, motor positive, um, field positive. Um, this one here is the same as this one here. It's just connected in a different spot. We use the center post here. Uh, I can use the C terminal but we don't on this particular motor it's not necessary um, I have a terminal strip a very basic uh, terminal strip I have a pack voltage to this and fused at a uh, one amp fuse on the terminal strip the, uh, which you can see right here. So I'm pulling off the positive, pulling it around through the, uh, actually it's two amp. And then this right here is 12 volt uh, auxiliary. And I use this for my uh, contactor, which is right there. And so it's a very, very basic setup. Um, I do have a large circuit breaker just above right here strapped to the board and for testing purposes for testing purposes I have the um, throttle so so my little throttle pot here just wanted to show so put my circuit breaker on contactor on so the motor has got a little clunk in it um, it is an alignment issue or um, flywheel balance issue that I'm going to deal with but we're just making sure the motor runs without getting hot um, for just a few minutes that I ran this thing last time the motor got pretty hot actually quite hot but the bottom side of the controller was just scorching hot and now um, I've been playing this with this for quite a while and uh, and it hasn't gotten hot at all motors warm uh, controllers not even warm so here we go we're gonna bump this up you can hear the little 
rattled. Couldn't even get it. it wouldn't even go up to 200. have new bearings in this thing um, so we got to figure out what's going on here so I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for giving me the tip um, haven't heard back to from Kelly I'll share it back from them tonight tomorrow um, everything's working it's running cool next uh, next steps take it out on the road uh, it's kind of late tonight so I'm going to do that tomorrow, and we'll do another little uh, quickie and um, see what happens. I'm going to pull the motor first and see what might be going on. And so the nice thing about this whole setup is that I've got one cable here. I've got one cable on the other side over at the uh, circuit breaker and the... Uh, those two and unhook the two from the motor and this whole board just comes away um, we'll unhook the um, I can unhook the uh, amp meter I've got a couple little uh, twisty twisty things here just unhook a couple of those little tiny wires and and we just pull this whole thing away and uh, makes it real fast real easy that's why I put it on a test board. Um, it's a good idea when you're playing with things to have things quick and easy so you can get uh, things in and out um, as needed. And since we've been messing with different controllers, um, we've got little holes in here for the uh, controllers just to screw them onto the plywood. Um, the big, the big fat Kelly, I'm going to hook up later. But uh, right now we're, we're doing this, and we have some things coming with uh, Synchromotive uh, controller, and I'm going to put the uh, GE motor back in here pretty quick, uh, probably in the next day or so. And we've got some little, little things that we're going to do. We're going to do a little video demo once I get that hooked up. <clears throat> um, we know the Synchro works and the GE motor works fine. Um, I just wanted to see how well this worked, and um, I'd actually like to see what kind of performance I get out of this little motor this time versus uh, last time. And, um, and I think that's about it. That's just a real quick rundown, just to let you know. The controller is just rock solid cold. Uh, it's not heating up at all in the time that I've been messing with it. Uh, motor is a little bit warm, but not terrible bad. So. I'm going to shut this down and we will be back later.